Guys, it's that time of the year where the fish are literally everywhere you go. Any public place you go, the mullet are everywhere you can practically walk on them. There's a huge school of them right here, and they're getting blown up. We're about to get a bunch of mullet. Here we got a bunch of fish. Let's go. See, now we can use these fish to catch literally giants. Welcome to fall fishing in Florida, baby. Then you got a nice big old needlefish in there with the yeah, look at that cast. This guy was probably trying to get a few of them. Look at that. Needlefish. That guy's freaking epic. They got, got mean gnarly teeth. teeth. Yeah, gnarly. Gnarly, gnarly, gnarly. Throw them back, dude. We don't want that trash. Bye bye. Fish. So, with this bait here, a lot of the big fish in the inlet. Jack caught this snook last night fishing, and uh, that is a giant. While we're here, while we're setting traps looking for eels, we can also be fishing for giants. So, that's the plan today. Catch something cool, catch something big. We are locked and loaded, ready to go. Guys, the goal today is we are targeting little eels, baby eels all over these aquarium rocks. I came last week and I caught the smallest eel I've ever caught in my life. It was like literally this big green moray eel, a baby green moray eel. I caught it on shrimp. And today we're, we're coming prepared. I said on my, on my video that I wanted to come and do a bunch of fish traps and that's what we're doing today. We're doing it on this channel. We're gonna put some fish traps out inside these rocks. In my video, I saw three of them. I saw three good sized eels. We're using shrimp as bait, the best shrimp in the world, super stinky, and we're using this trap right here to get the job done. It's got a lot of holes in it so the eels can smell it, get inside super easy. So we're dropping it right in between these rocks here and we're gonna let it sit there all day long while we try to find some other fish to catch. Now guys, there is a bunch of glare and it's outgoing tide so it's dirty water, but soon this is gonna be really, really shallow. And the eels for some reason like really, really shallow water. The trap's been in there for five minutes and there's, and there's already a bunch of fish around it. So the eels are gonna smell this very quickly. Guys, I'm losing my hair, but it is getting long. I might have to man bun it, like for man bun. It's about to go in. It's about to go in. It's about to go in. The eels are literally going in the trap. He's going in the trap. He's going in the trap. Chris, wait, we have to pull him up. I am. Hang on. He might steal it. He might just reach his head in there and see. He stole one. He already stole one. He's a thief. Oh my god, there's an eel right by the trap. He's a thief. He's a thief. He's a thief. He's leaving. He darted. He darted off. He darted. He's right there. Hang on. Keep an eye on him. He's right there, right there. See him? He still has a piece of shrimp. Guys, I see an eel already. He smells the shrimp. It's not a chain eel and it's not a green moor eel. It is a different eel. There he is. There he is. See him? See him? He's right, right, in, right in that rock. What, see him? Seconds? See him right there? There he there is. There is. It's a fire eel, dude. It's, like, it's something crazy, dude. Where? It looks like a fire it's eel. Like a, Chris, get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Get the net. I don't know what that is. Oh my Ooh, god. He tried to get it. He's out of the rocks. That's good. He's out of the rocks. He's looking for it. He's looking for it. He's looking for it, guys. That's a different eel. I've never seen that species. Should we move our trap over? No, 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 let him, he's gonna swim right to it. There's gonna be so many eels here, guys. We've been here for two seconds. He's Letting, going into the, he's trap. Going the trap. He's in the trap, he's in the trap, he's in the trap. You got, I is gotta, he hitting a lick? Should I move it he's away? He's hitting a lick. away from him, right? He's gonna hit a lick. Can I move it away wait, from wait, him? Wait, he might not, he might not, he might not hit a lick. Man, they turned it the other way. He's trying to eat, oh yeah, I see, he's on the bottom of the trap. There he is, see his head, see his head, see his head? Yep. Oh, I see him. He's gonna go into that rock. Am I getting in this water? I get He's running, he's running. Don't grab it, he's gonna break us off. Guys, we have a freaking, in our, and right now this is a Japanese dragon heel. I flipped the rock, I flipped the rock. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's right there, he's right there, he's gonna come oh, out. Oh, he's in another one. Guys, this is the most rare ear we've seen. Bro, you need to take my phone. Chris, that big rock. That big rock right there, Chris, yeah. Just to let you guys know, we're in a category freaking four hurricane approaching in Florida, and Chris is inside of the water ready? with his sneakers. I still have them. I see him. That's his head. Oh my God. Look at this rock. Flip the other one to the left and we're good. I'm gonna get bit by this bitch. He's out, get him! Scoop him! Got him! Got him! What is that? What is that? I'm the freaking wizard rock flipper. What is that? Guys, what that, type of eel is guys that? this is f***ing extremely Chris, rare. that is extremely rare. Guys, I can say that I've been bit by a, by a more eel. Yeah, we're in a storm. There's a storm coming and we, we stuck it out. Ruined. We stuck it out. This guy's to the moon. No! That right there, I'm not sure what eel that is. Comment down below what that is, but we have not seen it here yet. All I know is he's bright yellow on his uh, back fin there. So this is not a chain link and not a green moray. This is a different kind of eel. What type of eel is that? That is a very interesting eel. Are we gonna keep him? Moray. I don't know. I think we should let him live because we still have to pull the fish trap. Dude, guys, that eel is ridiculous. Guys, he's sick though. Are you sure? He's bright yellow. Why don't we take him to the house, dude? So what are we doing? Are we releasing him or keeping him? I think we release Okay, him. release. What? The manager knows best. I vote keep, but they say release, guys. I vote keep too. Drop a like. I vote keep, dude. This thing's All sick. All right, keep it then. I overrode 
Brooke and Jack, they wanted to release him. I think he's just so cool though. He's bright yellow, we gotta give him a shot Whoa. and uh, try to keep him. He's, look how pretty that thing is. Bright yellow, we were targeting baby eels today. Not the case. Not the case at all. Guys, it is uh, literally about to start storming bad. There's a freaking category four hurricane coming right at us. And uh, we need to pull this trap right now. I don't care what's inside of it. We're just gonna pull it really quick. In there, pull oh it. God, oh my God, oh pull my it now, pull it now, he's in there. He went in he's there. In. Let's go. <gasps> Green Moria eel. He wasn't stealing it. Green Moria eel. Green Moria eel in the trap, look at that. That's what epic. It? Guys, it's storming. It's storming and we need to, uh, we need to get out of here with this Green Moria eel. This thing fully swam into the trap. We saw him swimming around the trap. We just waited for him to go in there. He was taking licks, but now it is stormy. You guys are gonna see him better in a second. We gotta get out of here before the fish guys literally get terminated from YouTube because we're dead from lightning. So let's leave. Guys, we made it back barely. It is torrential downpour. I had to sprint to the car to pick Jack and Brooke up so we didn't get struck by lightning. I ran all the way back to the car. Thankfully, we hooked that epic rare eel perfect timing right before the storm hit and then we pulled the trap and we got that green more eel two eels in the one spot and the fish trap performed i wish we could have camped out more we probably would have had 10 eels to put into the saltwater pond today but we only got two and we're gonna put them in the tank for today and then eventually move them to the saltwater pond my car my house is kind of far so we didn't want to drive in the torrential down rain wind. and uh you know risk it so we're gonna put them in the tank for now and then we will see how they look in there and then we're gonna transfer them over Mike and Peter here. No Major Mike Major throwback to no 2019. Peter. Million views of video, baby. Good times. First on the agenda, we're going to feed SpongeBob and Patrick because we have two of those mullet that we caught in the cast net. We brought two home with us. Two lucky winners that actually get to meet the famous stomach of Sponge. Here we go. Just give them the old mullet popsicle. Sponge popsicle right here. No way. <laughs> no way. Dude, it's not. No way, it's too big. That's his wiener. He's oh my good. god, it's it's just going in. Oh. Guys, his stomach stretches. I'm telling you, it's a rubber band. My god, that was the most insane. Look at his stomach, dude. It's a rubber band. Oh my god. There's no way he's gonna be able to swallow that whole thing, dude. <laughs> what is inside of his stomach that breaks that down? Acid? <laughs> it's gotta be acid, bro. That Sponge. is the most insane eat I've ever seen. His body literally got 10 times bigger. <laughs> now Sponge literally like actually just ate a fish triple his size. Like I don't know how he got that down. That that fish is a psychopath. I think we might have to to make a, an angler fish fish guy shirt, guys. Literally, just we might have to look out. We might have to drop a Sponge angler fish fish guy shirt. Guys, stay, stay tuned. Patty the Batty is pissed. Oh my god. Oh, no. there's Patty. This is it. Patty the Batty. Come Patty on, the Batty. Come on, Pat. RKO him. RKO him! Here he goes. Here he goes. Oh! Holy crap! He got it. He got it. They love mullet. Look at his stomach! Look at his stomach. Guys, the, both of our uh, anglerfish are officially softballs now. Softballs. It's the Java twins, dude. Java the Hut and Java's sister. That's what we should rename them. All right, guys, now we're gonna put our eels in the tank. This brand new tank here that Jack just set up. We're gonna put them in here for now, see how they look. I wanna enjoy that cool eel that we caught with the yellow, just because he's really, really cool. We gotta mm -hmm. enjoy him with the glass, and yeah. then, then we'll put him in the pond once this well, storm. Set. Once this hurricane leaves, we'll put him in the pond. Dude, this guy's a unit. Guys, drop some names down below for the two eels that we got. This guy is like a Stromboli. I think that might be a good name, Stromboli. How about Spamoni? Spamoni! Oh my god, he's gonna break the net. Guys, he's gonna break the net. Look how pretty- ah! Oh my Sweet. god, he's scary. Guys, he's huge! Oh my god, he's a three-footer. He's big, he's perfect for I the saltwater pond. I hope he goes to town on those sergeant he's majors. perfect for the saltwater pond, guys. He likes it in there. Look at him, he's sick. Dude, that thing is dope. We're gonna keep an eye on him with that hook. Usually eels can easily spit them out. He'll regurgitate the whole thing. And um, if not, we're gonna take it out once we transfer him to the solid pond. But I think that in the next hour or so, that, that thing should be on the ground. That is a sick eel. Look at the yellow patterns on him. That is absolutely he's like dope. A leopard. He's got like a leopard pattern. I don't know if they're rare or not, guys. I really don't. They, they could be like literally the most common eel ever, but all I know is it's rare to us because we've never <laughs> seen it or caught it there. So we've it's never rare. seen it ever. All right, let's get our second eel, guys. That was the first time we ever went out for eels and caught two in literally 10 minutes. Literally so quick. And so I'm sure fast. if we didn't get literally blown out by the storm, we would have caught freaking 10 more. Caught 10. And who knows? I don't even know what kind of species there are. If you guys want to do that again in, during a sunny day so we can spend the whole day there, 
Who knows what kind of species we can catch? We can catch freaking 50 different species. So drop a like on this video, 10,000 likes, and we will go back to that spot and do the same exact thing, except stay there for a longer time. And drop five different traps, maybe. Maybe six. All right, the green moray eel caught in the trap. This guy, I'm pretty sure, hit a lick on us early and then came back for, for more. He did hit a lick on us early. Oh. Here we go, green moray eel! Let's go, Get dude. In there. We're gonna have so many eels in the pond. It's my favorite thing in the world, catching eels, dude. Come on, get out. That is there so sick, guys. Such, I cannot believe that we can literally drive 10 minutes and go catch <laughs> green moray eels. These things, like actual green moray eels, gotta be at least 400 bucks. I've yeah. never seen them cheap at all at the store. Dude. So no, we're, so we catch them for 400 for free. We got two green moray eels in here and an unidentified moray eel and four sergeant majors. That's an epic tank. We cannot wait to put them in the saltwater pond. It's gonna be really, really cool getting that big, big uh, yellow one in there. I'm actually stoked. But we need an epic name for them, so drop it down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys think we should go back and do that again. I think it's an immediate yes. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later, skater. Peace.